angry guy here and asian women are a trojan horse we are going to talk about this Today we're discussing why Asian women are a Trojan horse, and this is a serious subject, this is a serious topic. A lot of people are not talking about this, but a society is only as good as its men, and the men that are leaving America right now are America's best men. They are successful men, they are stable men, they are the men that hold the country up, and the men that are going to get left behind are basically the, the men that no one wants. They're the men that women are sleeping with. But they're not the men that hold society up. Tyrone isn't holding society up. He's pulling society down. The women are chasing after these types of terrible men. And then after, you know, after they're pumped and dumped, you know, a couple hundred times and they go and look for a stable man and the stable man is left picking up the pieces, you know, picking up the, um, you know, sloppy second, sloppy third, sloppy fourth, whatever you want. It's, not, it's really a couple sloppy hundreds. But at this point, but point is, you have, you know, you're getting Tyrone's sloppy seconds, you're getting Chad's sloppy, sloppy seconds, and you're supposed to be happy with that, and men are going over to the Philippines, and they're getting great wives, they're going to Thailand, they're getting great wives, they're going to Cambodia, they're going to Brazil, they're going to all over Latin America, they're going to all other countries, they're going to little shit countries you never heard of in Europe, and finding wives there, you know, they're even going to Africa, I mean, that are trying the passport bro movement is really taking off and this is just a subsect of men walking away men completely just stepping away from traditional gender roles well I say traditional gender roles but traditional expectations so these are men who want traditional gender roles they're stepping away from traditional expectations of them in the west they're not they're saying you know what listen western women have broken the contract so we're not going to stick around. We're going to go where we're wanted. We're going to go where we can meet quality women who want a man who's going to provide for them, take care of them. And in return, they're going to cook and clean and they're going to be submissive and take care of us and be good wives and be good, you know, good helpers. And that's really all men really want. You know, that's, you know, there's a saying, you know, feed them and fuck them. And that's really all it comes down to. So it's, it's really intriguing when we see this, but Asian women are a Trojan horse. Because they're basically taking all the quality men out of the United States, all of these men who have value, have jobs, have skills. These are these guys are picking up and taking off. Like I said, right now it's a trend. Password bro movement is a trend, but trends become normalities and normalities become traditions. And come twenty thirty, I'm telling y'all, as soon as twenty thirty, it could be a it could be a tradition where like you know as things move fast. Especially these days, where like you want a wife, okay, it's time to go overseas because you know you can't mess around with these hoes. You know, back home, like, you know, these hoes ain't loyal, you know. That's Chad food right there. That's that's Tyrone food right there. You don't want what you don't want they gonna leave you don't want they leave over. You know, I mean like I'm literally telling you where we're looking at it, you're looking at it like men are just gonna completely forget about these women back in the States and they're gonna start going straight overseas by default. It's gonna be a normal thing. So like, you know, kids out of high school, they're like, Oh no, I'm not I'm not gonna find a wife in the US. Like I don't even want a college girl, like you know. Start spring breaking in the Philippines. Like I'm just telling y'all, this is where it's headed. You know, where it where it becomes a normal thing, and then it becomes a tradition to go overseas and get a wife. You know, just like Christmas, it becomes a normal thing. And I want to show you this. Like this is a guy. This is a black guy. This guy's like over six feet tall. He makes over a hundred thousand dollars a year. He is a video game programmer, and you know he has a Filipina. And, you know, if you see his Filipina, she is like a, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's very, she's very shy, very, very quiet. And it's so incredible, you know. And this guy is living the life. I mean, just look, look how beautiful this girl is, you know. And she does not talk much, keeps her mouth shut. And, and this guy is so happy. This guy is absolutely happy. And more and more men are just literally going to be going in this direction. More and more men are going to say, you know what, this is what we want, this and this is what we're going to get because this is what we deserve, and they're not going to settle for, they're not going to, they're not going to settle for Chad's sloppy seconds, you know, they're not going to settle for Tyrone's leftovers, you know, they're going to get something quality. And then here's the crazy thing about this: you don't have to be six feet tall to get one of these women because you have to understand something: the average man in the average man in the Philippines is only five four. You know, only five four, and it's like, uh, 
only five four, and 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 so so when you guys have a couple guys even five eight five nine, that's tall to them. These ladies, these ladies, feel great with these guys, you know. So it's really really significant. It's a great deal. It's 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 great. I mean, let's try, you know. In this video, basically, they're going to like Costco, and I really want to just more so show you the girl that he's with, and you know, you know, she's quiet, she's helpful, she takes him to Costco in the Philippines. They're going shopping, looking around, you know, for different things, looking at the prices, and it's like just just the quality of life is better, you know, just the quality of life is better. What they're able to afford, you know, money goes so much further. You know, in one instance, they're looking at, they're actually checking out a luxury condo, which was like, wow, that's in another video. I just wanted to share that with you because, you know, you don't have that here in the U.S. You don't have that here in the U.S. People are here struggling to buy food with hyperinflation. And on the other, on the other side of the world, people are just like, guys have like, you know, picked up left U.S. And they're like, they're living new lives. They're, they have new wives and they're not looking back. They're not looking back. They're not complaining. They're happy. I mean, this is, you know, this is Asian women are a Trojan horse right now because they're literally scooping up the quality men from the United States and they're leaving all the trash and they're just leaving the trash behind. You know, they're leaving the men that no, they're leaving the men that are destroying the country. They're leaving the men that are running wild in the streets, you know, with with these other, with these street walkers. You know, it's like, you know, it's these are the, you know, the men that the men of value the man of decency, the man with self-respect, they're getting the hell out, right? And what does that leave? That leaves Tyrone, you know? That leaves Chad. Like, these dudes are not, these dudes are not good. These dudes are not good. I'm just being straight with you. And, you know, they just leave single mothers in their wake. And, you know, the men aren't taking this crap anymore. Men are just leaving. Like, men of value are just getting up and taking off. They're like, yeah, I'm done with this. I don't have any time for this. And men are settling. They're more than happy to get themselves a nice looking girl in the Philippines, settle down, have some kids, start a life with your wife. And you don't have to put up, you don't have to, you don't, you don't have to have a headache because these Filipinos, they love to clean. They love making sure that everything is clean as a part of their culture. They love to take baths. You know, they, they, you know, they, this is, this is a part of their culture. They're very clean. They like to cook and they're very loving. They like to take care of people because that's a part of who they are. That loving nature of theirs. It, it's something that we don't have in the United States, but it's something that, that's just a part of their characteristics, it's a part of their culture. And American men don't have to fight anymore for that. You know, they don't have to fight for, for scraps. They don't have to fight for leftovers, you know, and then and, and, and just to be treated like crap by some woman who's, a, you know, who's like has a, like a body count in the hundreds. And she's basically already planning the divorce before she's even planning her wedding. I mean, that's how it really works these days, because a lot of times these women are just looking for a guy to help them come up. So that they can move on to the next one, you know, on to the next one, on to the next one. A lot of these plastic bros, they're not having it. They're like, they're like, hashtag not me, you know, hashtag not me, you know, and that's really it. You know, guys can hashtag me, can hashtag God uh, too, you know, your chicks were like, hashtag me too. And now guys are like, yeah, hashtag not me, you know, I'm on my way out. Like, you know, like, fuck this shit, I'm out. All right, now, fuck this shit, I'm out. I don't really care. I'm just getting the fuck up out of here. So this is what's really going on, and it's going to continue to, it's going to continue to grow. The movement's going to continue to foster, and Asian women are a Trojan horse because men are saying, you know what, I can find a better deal overseas. I'm going to go overseas. I'm going to find that Latina. I'm going to find that Filipina, and I'm going to be happy. And these relationships are working out. Of course, not every relationship is going to work because there are good people in the world, there are bad people in the world. But it's really about screening and getting to know the person. But when it comes to American culture, like. You know, think about this. Almost all American women today want a man that's at least six feet tall. There's only 14, only 40 percent of the American population have people that are six feet tall. I mean, women are looking for the top one percent of the top ten percent today. That's just not going to happen. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you agree that Asian women are a Trojan horse to the West, let me know what you think. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.